The research that you and I are about to share has to deal with individuals that may be experiencing walking difficulties in correlation, or I should say association with peripheral artery disease, otherwise PAD. What the researchers did here is they wanted to postulate what would happen if they increased the energy in the muscle. For this, they utilized a tool or an over-the-counter supplement called nicotinamide riboside. Now, another exploratory outcome in regard to this particular research, besides working to help increase walking distance, was basically it also increased the muscle size, in this case of the gastrocnemius, uh, basically like a large part of the calf muscle. So it's quite intriguing the outcome in regard to nicotinamide riboside. But without further ado, let's get into the research and to show you how promising this may be if conducted and the results are basically uh, duplicated in larger trials for a lot of individuals suffering from PAD. So let us begin. All right, over-the-counter supplement improves walking for peripheral artery disease patients. Nicotinamide riboside provides new options for those with chronic leg disease in preliminary clinical trials. The over-the-counter supplement nicotinamide riboside, a form of vitamin B3, increased the walking endurance of patients with peripheral artery disease, a chronic leg condition for which there are few effective treatments. And boy, did it increase the walking distance to, to proceed. In the preliminary randomized double-blind, randomized double-blind clinical trial led by the university, patients who took nicotinamide riboside daily for six months increased their timed walking distance by more than 57 feet. Now, without the risk of obfuscation, it's, uh, 57 feet means more than the placebo group. You'll see what I mean in a second, compared to those who took a placebo. As expected, walking speed declined in those who took the placebo. This is just six months because peripheral artery disease causes progressive declines in walking performance. But this was not the case in those consuming the nicotinamide riboside. We'll get into dosage in a second. Nicotinamide riboside is a precursor for the essential compound NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, which plays roles in the body related to energy generation, improved blood flow, and DNA repair. Because PAD is associated with problems generating energy within the muscle, to reiterate, the researchers thought that the nicotinamide riboside may work by improving energy generation, which could help improve walking in people with the disease. Who knows if it works with runners and joggers and things like that as well. But in this case, we're just dealing with peripheral artery, artery disease. So to proceed, and indeed, that's what they found. Participants taking the supplement walked an average of 23 feet more in a six minute walking test after six months, while those who took placebo 34 foot less. All right, you go, well, where's the 57 feet? Well, 24 plus 30, 23 plus 34, 57. You get what I mean? 57 feet longer than the group in the placebo. Play on words there. Those who took at least 75% of the pills, it was 1,000 milligrams per day, they were supposed to take performed even better, adding more than 100 feet to the walking distance. We assume 66 more than the base compared to people who took the placebo. Methodology, here we go into dosaging. Eligible participants were randomized to one of three groups. Nicotinamide riboside at 1,000 milligrams daily for six months. They also tried nicotinamide with about 125 milligrams of resveratrol. Uh, they didn't see a statistical significance between the two, so they just basically simplified it, just the nicotinamide riboside. And of course, the placebo. So to proceed, this is an interesting outcome, the exploratory outcome. At six month follow-up compared to placebo, nicotinamide riboside significantly increased the gastrocnemius. Nemius, nemesis, nemius. Uh, so basically you kind of wonder, is the muscle bigger, which enable them to walk more because the energy generation, or is the muscle bigger because they're walking more? See what I mean? To proceed. And the muscle satellite cell abundance at a dot six month follow up compared to placebo. To conclude, among people with peripheral artery disease, nicotinamide riboside improved six minute walk at six month follow up, and resveratrol did not add an initial benefit. So they stick with the nicotinamide, nicotinamide riboside, at least at the 125 milligram dose. Among participants with at least 75% adherence, 
The magnitude effect of the nicotinamide herbicide on six-minute walk was comparable, comparable to the effects of supervised exercise for peripheral artery disease. Further studies are needed to confirm these findings in a large cohort of participants with PAD. So that is quite amazing. So basically, you're not looking just at the energy creation, you're seeing a correlation in increased muscle size of the gastrocnemius uh, part of the calf muscle itself. And at the same time too, it's working through not so much increasing circulation, which without adding publisher bias may actually take place, but additional energy generation in the muscle cell itself. So energy generation, muscle energy, muscle size, pretty good correlations all together. And that basically the, with the outcome of increased walking distance for those that took at least three quarters of the pills, 75%, you had a hundred feet additional walking distance over those which declined in basically walking distance in the six month test over that six month period of time. So pretty amazing just by the consumption of an over the counter supplement. Again, you have to give gratitude to the researchers. It was a great way of looking at uh, basically a, a challenge individuals maybe have in a different light by working through muscle energy, uh, as opposed to necessarily just working through looking at circulation and other types of treatments. Pretty cool. Again, gratitude to the researchers. I am humble you watch and look forward to see what you and I share next week. All right, see y'all next time. Bye.